Hey, hey everyone, how's it going? Ars Quasar here with another Rot Rad video in Card Mechanic Simulator 2021. I just noticed this sign up here. It says coming soon. I think that's the Bagini uh, DLC coming out real soon. So that that's that's kind of cool when they uh, put that banner up there like that. That's kind of cool. All right, so what did we do last week? Last week we put together the Bone Shaker. It's the Hot Wheels original car. Um, it has a different front end on it. Um, put the f different front end on it all together. It's got a nice two carb fueling or blown engine in it. And you guys loved it. You wanted to keep it, wanted me to keep it, and to keep it, I shall. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this bad boy and we're going to send her to the parking lot. So let's see, parking. There we go. All right, so now we've got all that done. The only thing left now is to check my inventory. All is good. Uh, check my shopping list to make sure it is clear. It is not from the... Uh, I had to do... Uh, I was poking around. I was trying to do a couple other different jobs. Trying to, I did go around looking for a truck for um, for the shop, and I could not find one. Now, now Philip Ruby had gave me an idea to use that. Now, use the um, the bone shaker as a truck for the shop, and I think that's a great idea. And if I find one, I may just do that. I want to really do a config file for it though first, but um, we are going to do that. Um, all right. So yeah, and uh, anything additional? Um, my signage, I did try to do signs. I signed for this one. Um, I haven't quite gotten it together. If you guys remember the old um, Sinclair gas station, uh, you know, the dinosaur, the old Sinclair, some of you old timers might remember that. Um, uh, I, that's what it's going to be there, but uh, I haven't quite finished it, and uh, and it's only that sign. I, I, I do these like a little bit at a time, trying to figure, you know, try to find something on the internet that will really work. And uh, I mean, this one took me, I don't know. Um, took me a while to figure out what I wanted to put up there and I'm even looking around the garage here thinking you know maybe these white walls are just a bit for me so I, I may change things up a little bit between episodes I don't know uh, but for right now um, let's go into um, let's see should we do junkyard or I don't even remember if we did junkyard or the uh, auction last time I think we did the auction so let's slide into the junkyard and see what we can find shall we Okay, for those of you that have just joined the channel, what is Rot to Rad, you may ask? Rot to Rad is, I come out here in the junkyard or into the salvage yard and find something that's rotting and take it back into the shop and make it into something uh, radical. Now, typically, my main focus is to get something under 150,000 miles. We've got this MDM Jagger here. Eh, it's, it's just okay. It's one of the vanilla cars. That's 145, 145,000 miles. I'm hoping to find... I'm actually hoping to find uh, a modded car or a custom uh, config that I have done. Um, let's see, what do we have here? This is a Supra, a Supra, S Saka, Sakura Supra, uh, with 158,000 miles. Oh, she's out of the game anyway. Over 150,000 miles. She's out of here. All right. Um, usually there's. Oh, there we have a nice Mustang here red interior okay what is this a boss 302 at 195,000 miles now let me do a quick look here just to uh, just for my own uh, sanity check anyway uh, I, I've got it I've, I'm, I'm sick I've got a spreadsheet of all the cars I've done so I'm trying to pull that up right now and take a look um, we did do a uh, 70 boss 302 uh, back in episode five, so um, that's not going to work anyway. Another dead Bob car. Um, we have this uh, whew, Luxor Bowen at 230,000 miles. Not my cup of tea. Ooh, we have ourselves a El Camino, 140,000 miles. So far, I think this might be our winner, El Camino. And I think this is a dead Bob 777 car as well. Oh, we have a Hudson Hornet up here. I think it's a Hudson Hornet. 174, yep. Uh, Hudson Hornet, 174,000 miles. That's not going to cut the mustard. 
Uh, looking like I've got a shop truck going on. Oh, wait a minute. We got, uh, oh, we got yeah, 248 for the Delray Custom. Not what I'm looking for here. So, just a quick spin around the track here. And I am not seeing anything, brothers and sisters. Guess what? That El Camino is coming home with me. Ha <laughs> ha. I've been looking for a shop truck, and I think this might be the, the ticket right here. I was looking. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, this is a. What is this? Uh, Nissan GTR. You know what? Uh. I haven't done one of those, but I needed a shop truck anyway, so I may do. I think this may be. You know, I, I wonder if there's. Is there a slam version of this? Uh, well, I tell you what. I need a couple of vehicles in there anyway. Um, my shop truck. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up, cause uh, yeah, I mean, I need a shop truck, right? So. Go ahead and buy that. Yep, I'm gonna accept it. I'm gonna send it to the garage, and then uh, look at this two for one. I'm gonna get a Nissan GTR here. Um, what is the price tag in this bad boy? Ooh, 19k. All right, we're gonna go ahead and buy that as well. I'm gonna stick that in the garage, and then um, I think that's it. Let's go. Alrighty get these bad boys in here okay so our shop truck is going to get moved over into lift number two yep that's uh it's in pretty bad shape is that can i get a i didn't even look to see if, what the engine swaps to uh, supercharge i don't have the two carb overhead valve option what the heck dead bob all right well and then we have litz nissan gtr so let's go ahead and we're going to move her out to the car wash. Let's go ahead and clean her up a little bit. See what color this thing is. So how is everyone doing? I am doing just fine. We are. Uh, I've got myself a little uh, pull over on the YouTube channel and the community tab. If you want to go over and take a look at, it. I'm looking to uh, purchase a couple of new vehicles and or a couple of new um, games. And just curious what you guys think of what I should be doing next. Um, got a few responses already, so that's cool. And uh, look forward for any more. I think we've got like 21 votes as of the recording of this video, so uh, not too bad. Is that a windshield in there or not? I swear there's a windshield in there. Nope, I guess not. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Making sure everything is stripped off of here. Yeah, car part two. Do I have any ideas of what this is going to be? No, I have not. But uh, I do want to let's see if I can use this over here. One. Go ahead. And, yep. Go ahead and clean her all up. I love the effects. I know you hear me every time. It's like I love the effects of this. Oh. That's a different, it's a silver color. Oh, okay. That's different. Alrighty. Uh, I think I've got, the, got it cleaned up as well on the inside. We're going to do that just in case. I think uh, when you do it out in the car wash, I think this is the same thing. But uh, it doesn't cost me anything. Yeah, it's probably the same thing. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that in. All right. Up, up, and away. So as I was saying, I hope everything is going well for you. I hope this video is funny, happy, and healthy. But yes, the poll. I'm looking for a couple of different games right now. Looking to do something a little bit different right now. There's a couple of games that uh, are uh, out there that have my interest. One of them is the gas station simulator. Uh, I was hoping to pick it up as soon as it came out, but I just, I, I just timing-wise, I never got around to doing it. Um, the other one my son has turned me on is uh, Forza Horizon 5, which seems to have the biggest um, uh, amount of votes right now. Um, that almost seems like um, I think if you read some of the com uh, read the comments from uh, from RPM Gaming. Um, he pretty much puts it in perspective. I mean, it might be pretty good to do, um, you know, maybe some live stuff on just goof around 
you know, some videos, but nothing like a storyline. Like I'm doing a like the Rotterad series, and uh, maybe eventually I'll get around to doing a uh, movie car series, and I do the um, the Story Order series too. If you haven't seen those, I've got those in here too. So check those out as well. Um, but um, so I'm looking for just looking for something a little bit different to do, and uh, I actually. You know, I, I was out most of the day today, and I came back in, and someone had gifted me the long drive, but I couldn't get it to download. I don't know what the deal was. So if you guys have had that happen, let me know what I'm doing wrong, because I, I don't know. I, I got the person's name, but I can't find him on Steam to thank him, and I don't know. Maybe it was just a, maybe it was just me being, uh, I don't know. Didn't I just take that off? There's two drive shafts on it. There's two drive shafts on it. That's why. Holy cow. This thing is a beast. I don't know if I want to like working on this thing. This has got way more parts than I want to, have, want to replace on here. Holy crap. What have I started? But yeah, if you get any other game suggestions, by all means, you know, throw, throw some down below. I mean, uh, don't be shy. I did try the car dealer, car detailer prologue. Um, I went live with that, but of course, <laughs> I had, you know, several issues with um, my internet connection, obviously. I, I don't know what the heck happened there. Um, Thanks for the support, uh, RPM Gaming Ryan. Thanks. I uh, had Matt out there. Thanks, Matt. Uh, Nima, Nima came by. Thanks for the good thing Nima came by because I wouldn't have figured out half of that stuff. Uh, although I think uh, I think Ryan would have helped me out a lot of it as well because he had played some too. So thank you all for um, uh, checking that out with me. And uh, it is there if you want to go underneath my live videos. It is there if you want to check that out. Um, but I did stream live. It's kind of an interesting game. It's uh, kind of like Car Mechanic Simulator, and that's what got me interested in this because it's got the Car Mechanic Simulator pieces to it. You know, it's 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 the cars, it's the tires, it's the wheels, it's the whole it's the whole shebang. Um, so yeah, so that's what got me interested. All right, let's uh, start trying to clean up some of these pieces. Some of you have asked about the pups. The pups is fine. My uh, golden retriever puppy is uh, definitely a daddy's girl until it comes nighttime, and then it is a mama's girl. Uh, she does her snuggies with her mama, and uh, you know, dad's just good for playtime, and I'm a chew toy, and, and I'm the walker. <laughs> but she's she's gotten big. Um, uh, regardless of her, she's. She had a grade three murmur. I think the vets actually degraded it down to uh, grade two. Um, and uh, fortunately, um, there was nothing that looked like it was going to hamper her when we had her spaded. So we're we're all good there. She's doing well. She's growing up. She's she's getting big, man. She's she's starting to get big, but um, she's still small for a golden, no doubt. No doubt there. Okay, uh, for this rear end, I am not going to do any super. Uh, do I get a gearbox? The gearbox B is that an available option in the tune-up shop? Gearbox. Uh, probably not. Right. Yeah, probably not. That's all right. I'm just going to go ahead and go with this. And the framework. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to paint any of the framework. I don't think I don't think I'm going to do that at all. I just uh, I think I am going to let's see, sort by name. OK, let's go ahead and pick up some pieces here. Uh, pre facelift. 
2012. Okay, so I'm going to keep some of this, so I've got to figure out what I need to get. Uh, disc brakes, discs, uh, drive shaft, drive shaft A. Uh, do, 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 do. One of those, one of those, one of those. Hubs. Uh, rubber bushing, small rubber bushing. Two bearings, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's jump right in here. Uh, brakes. Uh, we want to get. I want the slotted. So we're going to go with a full force set of that. No doubt whatsoever on that. Uh, suspension pieces. Um, oh, I'm in this little tuning shop. No wonder. Okay, so suspension pieces. Uh, what do I need? Open up our shopping list. Uh, brakes. I need brake caliper. There we go. Uh, brake disc I got. Oh, I need the pads. Duh. Get a couple sets of those. Drive shaft. Nope, that would be here. Okay. Drive shaft and drive shaft A. I, I note even, I shouldn't have even picked those up, but that's okay. I'll just end up selling them by mistake and then being stupid and have to buy them all over again. Okay, two of those. Sway bar B, got that. A rear wheel hub. I think I need two of those, right? Rear wheel hub, yep. Rubber bushing. Now, I'm thinking we're going to go 8 and 8 with this. I don't know if that's going to be true or not. Uh, small rubber bushing. This is going to be probably more than I need. That's okay. I'm not um, chintzy with my money. Okay, I only need one of those, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't have the shocks. Where's the shock absorbers? Um, shock absorber A. Okay, so I need um, shock absorber A. Shock absorber A, two of those. All right, and I'm going to actually paint, I'm gonna paint the uh, calipers for sure. And I'm gonna paint, I guess I'll paint the shocks as well. Oh, you know what? I need... Yep, okay. Alright. Got me. I'm going to have to do some painting. I'm going to have to do some painting. Alright. It's a different rear end, that's for sure. Uh, suspension arm... Oh, no, 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 that's unacceptable. Uh, get the, they get the link, okay. Uh, your suspension arm. Racing in there. Wow, this is a lot of pieces. Brake pads. All right. So what I'm going to need, I'm going to need uh, springs, springs and caps. So I need two of those. I need two of those, and I need some wheel bearings. Oh, I missed those. I have no idea. Two of those. Now let's go to the paint shop. Now, regardless of what color I'm going to paint this thing. The calipers are going red. It's just that seems to be my go-to, right? Just red calipers. Okay, so metal roughness. I don't think it matters much, right? I don't think it matters much. Metalness? Yeah. And let's paint the other one up. And 
shock absorbers. I always paint the shock absorbers white. And I always get these these springs. I always like having a, a nice bright yellow, which is this one right there. Oh yeah. I wish we had more color combinations that could be saved. If there was two rows of these, I think I'd be pretty happy with it. Like the bottom row would be like a saved group, and the top row would be like a, a, a variable group that you, you know, sometimes you use them, sometimes you don't. That type of thing. That would be kind of cool. And I don't know where I ever come up with this whole combination of white shock absorbers and red calipers and all that and yellow springs. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just uh, one day said, oh, this will look really good underneath there, and I just enhanced the yellow. Uh, shock absorber. Just makes it look a little look a little fresh underneath there. Yeah, look at that. I don't know. Something about it just looks, you know, kind of kind of cool. All right. little bearing. Did the drive axle get fixed? Yeah, drive axle was fixed. Okay, now it's time for the wheels on that, but I'm not going to put wheels on it right now. Uh, I am still debating what I want this card to look like on the outside. I'm not even sure the silver is going to stay at this point, but I'm not, I'm not sure of anything right now. If you guys checked out some of my other videos I've got going on, I have got a lot of games going on and not a whole lot of... Uh, not uh, sticking with one thing here lately. I've got, uh, you know, ship grave... Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not good. No, that's not good at all. I need another rubber bushing. Holy smokes, I ran out of rubber bushings. Whew. Okay, uh, rubber bushing. Let's go ahead and pick up another uh, four, I think. Four should be good. Um, yeah, I'm all over the place. I've got uh, some Minecraft videos going on right now. Uh, ship Graveyard Simulator. Uh, that's another one I've got going on right now. Um, what else do I have going on? Oh my gosh, I've got, um, that's done, that's done, that's done, oh, I don't get that arm down there. Um, I did the demo for the card detailer, and like I said, it, it, it intrigued me because it had the cars from, uh, Car Mechanic Simulator in it, and I was like, man, these guys... Are they the same? They aren't the same developer, I don't think. So how does that happen? No idea. But I thought it was interesting. I downloaded it and played it and uh, went live with that one. And like I was saying, my, my internet's all jacked up during the half of it. I just, it just, that is just irritating to no end. I cannot, I'm running a 200 down and a 5 up and I just cannot get that thing to... You know, sometimes I have good good luck, and sometimes I don't. I just what I need is a better upload speed, and I don't. And my internet provider it doesn't provide a better upload speed than what I have right now. Um, if they do, I certainly can't figure it out. Uh, let's see. Let me get this taken care of here real quick. Exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe, muffler, GTR. Middle muffler and Kelly converter. Okay, so I know in the tune up shop in the exhaust section, exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe times two, gotcha. Uh, I need Kelly converter times two, gotcha. Uh, middle muffler times two, and rear muffler GTR. Oh, look at that twos of those as well. Um, let's go ahead and get the fuel pump. And then we got to jump over here and pick up a fuel tank because I don't have one at all on this thing. Um, strangely enough. All right. So we're going to go up with a full exhaust system on here. Full tune. Should 
GTR rear tips. There we go. And a fuel tank. That's a performance fuel pump. Uh, and then we have exhaust pipe B's. Okay, exhaust pipe B's. I wonder if that's in there. Hope so. Exhaust pipe B's. Hey, two of them. All right. We'll go ahead and mount those bad boys up in there. That's all well while we have it. Yeah, full custom exhaust. Nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, so what are we going to do with uh, wheels and tires on this? I'm not exactly sure yet. Still, uh, I like what uh, Lit has on here. I do like these. I like them a lot. Uh, but I think we need to change it up a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Let me... Um, clean out my inventory shall we uh, yeah I got rid of the tire so that's uh, inventory cell parts anything over certain parts yeah that's fine um, yeah that let's see wait a minute wait a minute what we got here is a 285 255 285's in the back ah okay 285s in the back. How did the 285s in the back look? Hang on one second. Two eighty fives. Two is about as far as I can stick out on that thing, isn't it? Alright, well two eighty fives it is. Looks like it. Alright. Uh, I was hoping to go a little bit wider on that. That's okay. Alright, let's get back to business here. Uh, oh. Get underneath here and get all the stuff. Woohoo, bearing, there we go. And I like how much faster it is to take parts off these these cars in this in this profile as compared to my story order profile, which is it's painful sometimes. I played off and on all week on the on that story mode profile just to get enough points to get into the next story level. Crazy, and it's just super slow. Matter of fact, I think I need to. I think I've got some points over there to burn. Probably, I don't know. Do not know. All right, get this out of here. Okay, that side's down and out. Um, <laughs> oh man, this is like in the car detailer. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, check out that video, right? Um, when you wipe the car down, you have to wring out the rag. Right. Uh, when you're polishing the car, you have to apply polish to the polisher every once in a while. Um, when you're wiping down the car, it has the squeaky noise like you would if you're actually wiping down a car. It's actually pretty detailed. I, I, I kind of like the little added uh, sound effects in it. It really makes the game a little bit uh, cooler to play, to be honest with you. I think it's, it's pretty cool. Let's see, what else I got? Oh, my summer car. My summer car is going on really well. And that is, um, it was a person by the name of Isaac Pemmer or Primer. Um, he's the one that supposedly gifted me the long drive. And uh, I, I appreciate it if he's watching me. I appreciate it, but I didn't get it. I don't know what happened, um, but that's okay. Um, I do appreciate it. When it first came out, I was like really interested in it, and they've made some updates to it. Like they've they've put the people in it, which is kind of creepy in in my opinion. But I mean, it might be okay. I have not really played it, so I don't know. Let's get this transmission out of here. There we go. Is that get that out of there as well? All right. Uh okay. Let's go repair some parts.
You know, with the addition of the tunable discs, you know, the, the drilled and slotted discs, um, I will never probably use, I will probably never use that brake machine ever again. Now, I might during this for the story orders because I'm always looking to save a little bit of cash and, and that profile. So, oh, damn, I wasn't paying attention. Um, so, I might use it for that, but I mean, for Rot to Rad series, I will never use it. I will never use it because I just, I just won't. I will always put these bad boys on there. Drilled and slotted. Way to go. Alright, so let's sort these bad boys out. Uh, let's, um, actually, let's clear out our shopping list, shall we? There we go. Now we go in here. No, we go in there. Okay. Lower. I need one caliper. Brake pads. I need a flywheel cover. Hmm. That's interesting. Drive axle L. Sway bar. Rubber bushings. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should do it for that. Two of those. An upper and two wheel bearings. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and go in here. Nothing tunable about it all. We need pads. That's all we need there. And one caliper. For suspension, I need a double wishbone, uh, spring, and caps. Okay. Now we're going to open up our shopping list. Get the bottom suspension arm. Brake caliper pads, flywheel cover. Okay, got a flywheel cover. Um, front axle, steering knuckle, sway bar, go hub, inner tie rod times two, outer tie rod times two, rubber bushing times nine, because I had three, so that should put me at 12, right? My math serves me well. That's what it means. And two of those bad boys. All right, we are off to the paint shop. Uh, brake calipers. Paint them red. That one. Okay. Springs. Shock absorber. I just did that. Usually these boats to spring together, both the shock is over. I don't why did I do that? I have no idea. Okay, so that's everything I want to paint underneath the car. Okay, let's throw the suspension together real quick and then we will move on to the engine. I don't think I haven't built one of these engines. And, uh, might be pretty interesting. I don't know. Oh, man, I gotta get this. I got to put the shocks together. Hang on. Uh, steering rack. Crossbar. There we 
we go. Let's uh, put these together real quick. Stick these back on there. There we go. Very pretty clad, very pretty. Now I can't put the front drive shafts in on this until I get the rest of this garbage put together. So I'm going to have to go to the other side here. Just like that, a whole front end is put together. Well, just about. Get these rubber bushings in. Put the one in it? Nope, it did not. Went way over there, got that one. Okay. And calipers. All right. I think that's all I can do with the wheels on that. All right. Again, let's clean up my inventory. Um, sell parts that are less than 30% condition. That's cool. Uh, drive axles I need. Let's go ahead and... Drop this bad boy down. Like I said, I haven't quite figured out the uh, whole wheel combo on this yet. So, let's see. What is the interior? What is the interior? Jesus, got the GTRs. Okay, so CT seat GTR. Is that... That's something I can take out. What is this? There we go. All right. So let's take a dive into um, interior shop. Just go GTR. GTR. Two of those one of those and maybe one of those I don't know I don't have no idea if that's gonna go in here or not basically I know probably did hang on oh, maybe not um, no I guess I don't need it So the GTR seats are in there, steering wheels in there, good to go, good to go. Let's dump that out because I don't need it. And the steering wheel, don't need that either. As far as body pieces, I do want to go ahead and pick those up. So let's go in here. Uh, fresh imports, Nissan GTR. <sighs> okay, so... What I think I need to do with this, I wonder how I can do this. Um, see if I can get front bumper. Um, 
let's see if I go add part. Add to shopping list. So I think I've got those pieces anyway. So let's go to the shopping list. Let's clear out all the crap I don't need here. Upper B. Okay. Trunk C. Left window. Left door. Okay, so the window, uh, left body window A, so left body window A. Left body window A, pre facelift two, 2012, that's the ones I've got. So that's the one we're going to go with. Pre facelift 2012. Uh, where's that other window at? There it is. And a rear window. I don't think I got a rear window on her either, huh? Okay, so let's see what we got here. Carbon fiber hood. Carbon fiber hood may have to come off. We may have to do something with that. Ah! Rotten. I don't know, the silver's looking good. The silver's starting to warm up on me. Okay, so I need mirrors and a spoiler. Car part one. Uh, is that the spoiler I want? I think so. I think I'm good with that spoiler. Uh, and the mirrors. I think I'm good with the regular mirrors here. Alright, I think the silver is, might look really good with that. I really do. Uh, I'll have to check the whole carbon fiber hood look. I may have to uh, do something with that. Okay, so... Oh my god, what do I have in here that I need? Okay, first of all, let's clear out my shopping list because this is going to be hell. Okay, I think I've got it all. 
I think I've got all the body parts. I guess I'll find out when I start throwing this thing together, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, just for giggles, where am I at with this? Hey, look, I got a $61,000 profit. <laughs> All right. Um, so parts, I need battery, ABS pump, brakes. ECU type 1, A, uh, power steering reservoir, coolant C, type A air box, wiper fluid, type A filter, type A air box. All it's here. Oh, I need one of those. Those. I'm just going to get replace this whole thing in here. Looks like it's been underwater, so you know. Uh, I don't know if I got all those or not, but Whew, man, a lot of pieces. All right, and uh, pull this motor out. All right, and she's pulled out. It's nice and clean in here, anyway. Let's go ahead and take the radiator out. Get that out of there. Take all the fuses out, because this is all going to be junk. Uh, did I have everything out? Looks like I have everything out. Alright, time to go shopping. Let's go into electric. That. Need that. Need that. Uh, that. That. All right. ABS pump, brake servo, uh, ECU type A. Need that. Um, I forgot to. Infuse B, infuse A, according to that, three of them, C, one of those, uh, relay, I think only, I only think I need a couple of them, relay A times two, box a I think I already got the fuse box okay so I've got all of that um, car parts uh, where's the fuse where is the air box a need two of those thank you fuse box a cover Two of those. So I'm gonna need clips. So clip I mean A clips, I'm gonna need eight of them bad boys. Um let's see here. Back to my shopping list. Uh brake servo. Need that. Power steering reservoir, need that, got that. Uh, coolant D, yep. Uh, windshield wiper, oh, 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 where are you at? There we go. Get that. P 
fuse, fuse, really, really, really. Gotcha. Okay, so out of that, we'll go to the tune up shop. Two air filter A's. There we go. And that should about do the undercarriage with the. Well, it should do this. And get the radiator in, so I've got to get the radiator. So ABS is in. Let's put a new fuse box in her. Some brand new relays. This thing looked like it was, was a piece of junk. I feel like there's a fuse missing there. I guess that's a spare fuse for the stereo system, right? Okay, electronics done here. Uh, ECU, servo, base. Yep, and Eclipse. Good thing I bought the, oh, they're Eclipse bees. Oh, man. Uh, what, what, why? Why do you do this to me? The only time I remember doing the clip bees on anything else was a, I think it was a Porsche. And I bet that's where this base A is. I bet this is where it's coming from. Okay, got the reservoir in there. Clip B, steering wheel reservoir, another clip B. Uh, large intercooler. I did not get the large intercooler down there, so we'll have to pick that up. Okay, these clips on. And... <clears throat> okay, let's get this, let's go ahead and get the radiator A. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something here. Actually, I can get that large intercooler here. Okay, so it's a single fan. that all in, got that all in. I think we're good to go with that. All right, so what I need to do is check to see my mic got screwed up here. So I need to go check on something before I go building this engine. I will be right back. All right, things look pretty good. It didn't look like I lost my mic there for, I lost my mic for a little bit, but not entirely. Uh, what is the engine I could put in here? So we're going to go in here to the engine status. There is no swap options. We need to do the uh, VR38 DET. DET. VR38 DET. Very strange to me. I have not done this one. So this will be totally new to me. Uh, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, yes, it's that one right there. Nice. Now, <laughs> what am I going to paint this thing? Um, for this bad boy, I think I'm going to actually keep her silver. So, 
uh, I may go with a black engine block, but I need to figure out what I need first. So I need... Okay, so we need that engine block. A fuel filter. So... So I'm not sure if that's... Uh, let's see. I guess we'll figure that one out, won't we? Um, Uh, VQ 37. So I wonder if I can get a crank, crack, crank. <laughs> uh, I cannot spell tonight. So is it all this whole, it's like BR549 crankshaft. <laughs> It's a V6. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's... Okay. Go ahead and... Cl oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Who needs that? Uh, engine parts. All right, oil, oil pan. Let's go oil pan. Uh, oil pan for this V6 beastly. Uh, V6B, V6 dual overhead cam, V6 TWR. None of these look like it's the same oil pan I should be having underneath there. And now I'm going to have to put everything together before I buy a stupid oil pan because I don't know the oil pan that goes underneath it so fine you guys are really screwing me up here this is going to take even longer yes I'm going in the side door I'm just frustrated okay um, I guess maybe I need to sell off some of these parts first um, intercooler goes away Um, yes, I'm sure. Let me sell parts. I think that's it. Really, B, I don't need. Another base, I don't need. I don't need that. Keeping the rest. Then we are going to paint the engine block. I guess I want to paint it black, I guess. <sighs> yeah. I guess a black engine block is what I need, right? That looks good. While I'm sitting here thinking about it, let me see if I can find a, let's see, a cover. Not Q cover, just cover. Cannot spell. It's for the, um, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening to me. Okay, wait a minute. It should be like one of these up here, it looks like. It's for a V12, that's for a V6. <laughs> Nothing is matching up to what I'm looking for. I'm so upset. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to do a lot of running back and forth. I was hoping to do this, you know, short and sweet. It's not like all the engine pieces. I haven't put this together yet, so this is going to be just painful, in my opinion. Just going to be utterly painful. Um, so let's put that in the shopping list. 
Put that in a shopping list. Um, okay. So we're going to go to the tune-up shop. We're going to open the shopping list. We're going to go to the power steering pump. Here we go. Back in the car parts. Open that up. Myself a crankshaft. And a fuel filter. I'm going to paint the fuel filter. That's why I've got that one uh, in particular. I'll open shopping list. Let's clear that list out. There we go. And crankshaft. All right. Uh, fuel filter. I'm going to paint later. I don't know when I'm going to paint it yet, but I wonder if I could chrome it. That would be interesting. Uh, first and foremost, though, we're going to go back in here. Go to performance shop. Tune up shop. Performance shop. Uh, get some of that. I'm going to go get, I'm going to assume pistons are going to be the normal pistons. Watch me spend my money and time and not get the right ones. I need six of those. Uh, need regular rings for the pistons. Six sets of those. Crankshaft cap, I'll say three of those. Uh, I need a cap. Rod cap, six of those. Uh, I think that's about the basics I know right now. How's that? So we're gonna put the flywheel in. Clutch, pressure plate, and I forgot the throwout bearing. Let's go get the throwout bearing. There we go. Now for the pistons. Pistons are good to go. Um, let's rotate and radiate this engine. Go ahead and put this stuff in down here. That way I know what kind of oil pan to put on. Get the heads here in a minute. You know, for a tough little V6, this only has two crankshaft bearings in it. I would think you'd have at least three for a tough little engine like this. Guess not. Okay. So, oil pan. I can't get an oil pan, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I missing in here? Am I missing anything? don't think so. I think I have to put other stuff on it. <sighs> wow. This is going to be a painful project here. Okay. So, at B, at A. Wow. I can't get... Uh, Okay, let's go to the performance shop, see what we can get here. Got a head? Yes. Uh, 3%. You know what? <laughs> these bad boys. I'm thinking I'm going to restart these bad boys. 3%? I wonder how much I can get for this. Okay, hang on. Uh, All right. Well, nice. Um, I don't know why I just 
three star head just you know just for giggles I guess um, and because they are like they are I'm not gonna be able to paint them up so that's fine What now? Okay. Um, turbo exhaust. Let's add that to the list. Spark plugs. Might as well get those while I'm there. Shaft? No. Figures. Uh, the turbo? Yes. Intake manifold? Yes. Camshaft B. Say some. No camshaft A or B. So let's. I guess that's. Jeez. Okay. Um. Engine, open shopping list, camshaft B. Get two of those. Shopping list, uh, camshaft A. Two of those. I forgot to get the spark plugs while I was over here. Uh, six. And I think I'm going to need coil pad. Uh, well, uh, let me just. I will just forget that for right now because uh, who knows. I think I'm going to – let's upgrade these a little bit too. Three-star park these as well. I don't do it often, you know. But uh, do all the spark plugs. There we go. Compensate for that fuel filter. I'm not going to put on You mean I don't have the necessary parts Oh, that's a rocker arm Rocker arm, huh? Okay. Huh. Okay. That screwed me up. <sighs> okay, so fuel rail those and I need rocker arm B okay arm B all right so at least I know um, the fuel rails should be here yeah I need two of those um, Okay, let's go back over here. Rocker arm B. A rocker arm A or just a rocker arm? Nope, rocker arm. So I got two of those. Yeah, I didn't even bother restarting those. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, okay. That's cap A. This is a cap B. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. K. 
Cap A. Cap B. Uh, intake manifold. Let's see if that is in the performance shop here. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Uh, intake manifold. Yes. Man, this is tough here. Hang on. Get all this stuff in here. Man, I was hoping I had a rocker arm, eh? Dead in here. Is that rocker arm? Yep. I need two of those, thank you very much. Uh, engine cover, timing cover, rocker arm A, intake manifold I got. So, okay, I think I have to go back over here. Get two of those. One of those and the timing cover D. Now the timing cover. I want to go paint. First of all, I need these caps. One, two, three, four, eight of those caps. There we go. Ooh, cooking along now. It's starting to look like an engine. those in a minute because I think I may paint those I'm not sure got enough black chrome and red underneath the hood huh all right cover B add that to the list <sighs> okay uh, engine cover Engine cover. All right, and let's go to the paint booth. Off to the paint booth. Okay, first of all, fuel filter. Can I paint the fuel filter? I can. Um, I don't get the whole chrome look. Yeah, I don't get a whole chrome look on it. So let's go. Go with the red. Or just go with a black. Go with a darker color. There we go. That'll look interesting. That'll look interesting. Uh, front cover, definitely black. Uh, cover, what is this? What can color, what? 
It's painted here. Oh, I don't think I like any of that. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it natural. Probably could have figured out my oil pan. Okay. Front engine cover. Head covers I couldn't paint, I guess. And those are ignition coils. All right. Ignition coils. Add all these in here. Man, that's a lot of pieces in here. Okay. Put, that, put you in. Put you on. And away. Oh Let's jump in here. I'm going to do alternator. Yes. And then uh, the coils. Need six of those. Why can't I paint those a better looking red? That's that's the one thing I'm wondering. Um, actually, let's go see if we can. Cause they are they are seen, so I want them to be nice. I don't think I can actually. Quick check. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh well. Ah, live and learn. No oil pan yet. All right. Uh, parts. Open the shopping list. Rocket arm throttle cover. Timing cover. Camshaft cap. Engine cover, engine cover, ignition coil, alternator, I got two of you, two of you, and one of you. There go. <laughs> there for a minute, I didn't think there was going to be any bolts for that. I was hoping maybe there was a cover or something I could put over the top of that. I guess not. That's all right. All right. Open shopping list. Let's get two of these timing chains. All right. What's next here? Uh, that timing chain. This is painful, people. This is really painful. B, shoe A, it's probably one of the weirdest designs of an engine I've ever seen, okay, timing cover A. That bad boy's going black. The 
paint isn't even dry yet, and I'm throwing it on the engine. Oh my. Wow, look at the bolts on this thing. Holy crap. Okay. Wow. Look at all the garbage I got now. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, cam gear, cam gear, water pump, time chain, time chain. Shoe, shoe. Got that. So I need. Alright, time to go back to paint again. Oh, pan. It's a nice black coat. Now, those covers should get a nice black coat. I've been in and out of this paint shop so much, I'm getting dizzy from the paint fumes. But it's almost done. It is actually almost done. I'm not even going to look at the bottom to put these in. I'm just going to throw them into the bottom like that. There you go. Thank me later. Alrighty. Uh, oh, V8 oil filter. Okay. Okay. Let's get the belt. Filter for the V8, right there. The only red, the only yellow piece on this whole engine. And belt tensioner. Whew. You know what? I think I'm done. I think I'm done with the motor. Thank goodness. All right. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy off the stand. Take her in here and slap her in there. Ooh, she looks pretty underneath there. She looks really pretty underneath there. Okay, so now that I've got that situated, let's go underneath here. Uh, I think I need... Transfer case is good. We can put in those front drives, right? There we go. Put in that drive shaft. All right. 
uh, flywheel cover and drive shaft. Everything looks smooth, super smooth and nice underneath there. So there they are. I was wondering where they went. Okay, I think I've got. Uh, okay, so that's starter V8. Okay, so I need a starter V8. Let's go to the electronics shop. Give myself a starter. There we are, right here. V8 starter. And the large inner cooler, which I forgot the last time. Okay, so now all it is is wheels and tires. Let's go ahead and dump some of this stuff out. I don't need, don't need tires. Okay. <clears throat> wheels and tires. Uh, usually I do this at the very beginning, but man, I have not. I'm not sure what I want to put on here. Um, I think I might go with rim one here. But let me take a look. I do like the... Hang on. I think I'm going to put the... The... Uh, where are they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is, a, is that a Jaguar or is that a Nissan? I think that's a rim F type Jaguar. That's a Jaguar wheel. It's uh, where's my Nissan wheels at? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. The Nissan wheels. I think I'm gonna put those on it. The 370Z wheels. Those I like those wheels. I like those on the on another Nissan. One of the configs I've got in the in the shop. I like these wheels on it. Um, okay, so what <laughs> all that talk I forgot what that's these are 20s 20s all right, so We're gonna go with uh, all four and we're gonna go 20s Yes Okay um, Full wheels and tire for tires uh, We're running a, a 28535 right 285.35, so we're going to go go with these two. Two eighty five thirty five. Yep. Go ahead and start hooking his bad boys up. <clears throat> I mean, it may be 370Z wheels, but it says Nissan on it, so I think it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm sticking with the manufacturer, right? So let's see what these look like on here. Ooh. Yeah. I think I'm going to stick with the silver. I think I'm actually going to stick. You know, I wasn't going to. I really wasn't. Um, but I think I've got a nice combo here. It looks really, really good. Um, let's see here. Now what I want to get are two of these two. We're going to go 20 to 255. I think those are 35s as well. Let's see here in a minute here. What did I got here? 255, 30s. That's okay. I think just the, uh, I wanted a little slightly profile, a slightly lower profile on the front anyway. Um, just to make it look a little more badassery. All 
those on. So a slightly lower profile on the front. Doesn't look too bad. Ooh, yes. Okay. So I think we are 100% across the board. Let's see if we are. Um, I don't think I've got plates on the back, but yeah, I think that's what I'm... Oh, wait a minute. What am I missing here? <sighs> Medium fuse B, 15%. Yikes. Rubber bushing in the rear license plate. Okay. So I'm missing rubber bushing somewhere okay must be in the back so let's go ahead and get our bushing going uh, okay um, it's got to be back here somewhere Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, one we're pushing in. Okay, what else was I, I was missing? Rear license plate, yes. Oh, the medium fuse. What the heck? Okay, let's get into the fuse box here. Ah, uh, come on. That's not it. Must be the one next to it. Medium fuse B. Jeez, how did I do that? Okay. Okay, so medium fuse B. Alright, and let me go get myself a license plate. There we go. That's all I need. Close the door. There we go. Alright, and down you go. <sighs> gonna f top off the fluids. I forgot about the fluids. So let's go ahead and top those off real quick and we will be done with this bad boy. Man, this is one of the uh, strangest engines I've built, I have to admit. This is kind of a. Uh, it's really uh, a little more in depth than I thought it was gonna be, that's for sure. Come on, I got it right there. Come on. Oh, I gotta take the cover off. I'll check that out. Check that out. I have to take the cover off to put oil in it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, trickery! I tell you, trickery. Okay, put the cover back on it. Interesting. I have to say, okay. Uh, power steering fluid and a brake fluid, and we will be on our way over to the test path so I can set up the wheel alignment. go all 
All right, I think that is good to go. All right, let's send you over to the test path. Uh, test path. Wheel alignment time. All right. Done with that. Get the headlight headlights all taken care of. All right. Go with the headlights. Take her over to the paint shop. Now this is where I'm going to debate on. Uh, I think I want to just go ahead and keep the color. Yep. Current color. Um. Ooh, that color is pretty. That orange is pretty too. But I think I'm gonna stick with the gray, I think. I think I'm gonna stick with the gray. It is pretty. Because when I when I put the wheels on with the gray, it really I think it really looked really good with it um, with the silver. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I am not. I don't know if I'm really fond of the carbon fiber. The carbon fiber trunk, carbon fiber front end. I guess I'll stick with it. Uh, dino, please. All right, uh, let's start the dino. Let's see what this bad boy has to offer. would have gotten a thousand horsepower out of it if I had uh, three start a few more of the parts and if I had gone with the um, the other fuel pump but oh well I mean what can you say right I mean what can you say all right so there you have it let's Nissan GTR what do you think nice silver color I'm kind of liking the whole uh, red and black look to it with the, the red and the, uh, the the Nissan wheels on it. The whole thing it looks cool to me, but it's not up to me anymore. It is up to you, you the viewer. Should I save it or should I sell it? Let me know down in the comment section down below and tell me your thoughts of the video. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Um, I'd love to have you. Hey, it's free to subscribe, so hey, no sweat. All right, so that'll be it for me for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the Rat to, Rat to Rad video tonight. And um, I will bid you all adieu. Stay happy, stay healthy. This is Hearst Quasar saying good night, and I am out.